All right, so previously we finished off by creating our first instance of the donut chart. I explained what does the category field do and what does the value field do. Now we're gonna go through the interactions because both of these are really essential so you can understand how to actually use the visual and how to get it going. Now, first things first, the most important feature within the donut chart is definitely the intuitive drill down. In order to activate it, all you have to do is just simply click on one of the slices and you can see this calls out a drill down action. Now, something that happens in the background whenever you do a drill down, you can see it right here on the table on the right hand side, is it also acts as a filter. So for example, if I click on sales, you can see I drill down and I filter the rest of the report page. Now, if I wanna go back, that's also pretty simple. I can just click on the middle part of the donut. So these are the inner reference layers. With every single click on the middle part, you go up one level in the hierarchy. So I'm just gonna click once more. Now, whenever you do wanna have a multiple or a single selection, you have few options here. You can either long press on one of the slices, which is gonna select it and sort of bring it outward so you can visually see. Now, in some cases where you wanna select multiple slices without actually doing the drill down, simply hold down the control key and click on multiple slices and both of them are gonna be used as filters for the rest of the report. Now, the other thing that I wanted to quickly cover is gonna be how to clear the selection. So in order to do that, let's just quickly select Australia and Canada again. And if you wanna clear the selection, all you have to do is just simply click on a white space within the visual container. So for example, right here, you can see I don't have any elements. So if I just click on it, that is gonna clear the selection. Now, something else that we're really proud of is the interactive other slice. So for example, right here, you can see we have the others. Now clicking on it actually opens up the next category of others. The number of slices that you see within it is gonna be controlled through the donut tab, which we will cover in one of the following videos. But essentially clicking on others, or in this case also previous, allows you to move between the groups so you can read the chart a lot faster. And the last but not least is, you can also see that I have legends enabled right here. Clicking on one of the legends actually activates also a drill down. So for example, if I click on products, you can see it drills down to the product category. So that's gonna be it for the interactions and I'll see you in the next chapter.